What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now, did you know that you usually get mount in Phase 2, but did you know that you can actually have a mount in Phase 1? And no, we're not talking about the Ashen Veil mount, we're talking about a regular mount, well, regular mount, that you can use in any zone you want, and it has a movement speed. You can move with 60% speed, and it's way cheaper than the usual mounts usually are in the, in at level 40. You can get this one for a couple of silver, and then you can have a mount. So the way this works, and I want to give a shout out to Roskilot from my YouTube comment, who let me let me know about this, and I just tried it out, and it's it, it actually works. It's like why does this work? I have no clue. But yeah, as you can see, I'm standing on the rain there right now, which is a you get it from an item called Preserved Holly, and it's usually only there to transform your mount into something more festive, and it shouldn't give you the movement speed. But when I'm hovering over, it increases speed by 60%, and I'm moving at 60%. Like, if I find this person here, he's walking at normal speed, and I'm going to walk next to him. And you can see we're moving way faster than normal speed. This is me, no buffs, only using the mount, and that is him, no buffs, and I'm moving way faster. So I'm actually moving at 60% movement speed, it's like I'm using a mount but mounts should not be available, and especially not in Westfall. We can have them in Ashen Vale for sure, but not in Westfall. So let's go through how this works, and once again, I don't want to take any credit here, so massive shout out to Roskilot from the YouTube comments, who will let me know how this works. So what do you want to do? So what you want to do is first of all, buy a preserved holly. This one you can get 5 of them for free from the gifts under the tree in either or Grimar or Ironforge. So you can get 5 of them for free. If you want to have more than that you can buy them. And as you can see they're currently selling for 2.5 silver on my auction house. So you can have a mount for 2.5 silver. And this one will not even dismount you when being attacked by the way. So you can use the mount to move to a certain location. But if you go inside a building of course you will get dismounted. But by being attacked shouldn't be dismounted dismounted so what you're doing is you're going on a flight path we're just going to um, lakeshire in this case so lakeshire and on the flight path you want to pop the preserved holly so i have a baggy bug right now but clicking on it right here you can then use it on the flight path and it will say increases speed by 60 percent right here now the magic comes in when you land the second you land from the flight path you want to log out and log back in and when you like when you land on the flight path you will not have a mount so don't move just log out and then log back in and now you will have the mount. So we have just landed now, you can see we still have the buff but we don't have any visual mounts. So at this point we're going to log out a 20 second log out timer and we're going to log in and then I'll see it, we'll see how it works or if it works right. And logging back in, you can see we now suddenly have a mount, it says 60% right here. And once again we can move and you can see we're moving way faster than usual. So we're probably gonna catch up on people like this person right here, who walking at normal speed just to showcase that it's not just a regular mount, like it's not just a visual. We do have the movement speed once again. So just a TLDR, buy preserved holdings. I don't have any on me right now, but I can just go to my bank. And you can see a buy preserved holding on the auction house, 2.6 silver on mine but 11 silver on the regular market value. So they're kind of expensive, but that's 11 silver for a mount. And I also just want to show you that it shouldn't dismount you when being attacked either. Or it might, but it shouldn't. But let's just test that out at the same time. If we can find a mob anywhere around here. Fuck. I just used a spell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one more. So let's put this to the test by just running into some mobs and take some damage, which should technically, there we go, that should have dismounted me, right? If damage dismounted me, and there we go, taking damage again. So taking damage does not instantly dismount you from, from this mount, which is great. And that means that you have a mount that is super cheap that you can use to go from point A to point B. It's really good to have if you're questing and you're moving like across zones, if you're going for a long walk, like for example, imagine you're going to wetlands, for example, that is a 10 minute walk, that can now be five minutes instead of 10 minutes, or like, yeah, 10 minutes plus. Or if you're walking all the way from wetlands to Shadowfang Keep, that is like a half an hour walk or a 20 minute walk, and now that's gonna be cut in half. And same thing goes for if you're gathering flight paths for 
phase 2, which I did yesterday by the way, and I'm probably going to use the mount trick here to do that on some alts as well, just to go and gather flight paths. Like for example on Kalimdor you want to grab, uh, you want to have stone talon if you don't have that yet, you want to have desolus, you want to have Feralas, and you want to have this one in Feralas, and you want to have Tanaris as well. If you don't have those yet, you can get them now, and with this mount speed you can get them way faster than you otherwise would. Either way, I'm not going to drag the video out, I just wanted to show you that it works, I wanted to show you how it works, and I wanted to give you some use cases for doing it as well. So once again, big shout out to Roskilot for letting me know in the YouTube comments, and that's a really nifty trick, so if you want to use it, there you go. It's probably going to get nerfed at some point, so um, yeah, use it while you can, I guess. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like down below, subscribe for more Season of Discovery content as always, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you again very soon.